Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be answering a rather difficult question. How many Jira projects does your company actually need? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. But before we jump into today's video, I got three quick announcements to make. One, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really does help, so why don't you take a second here, smash the subscribe button, drop a like, as that really does help the channel grow. Two, you may have noticed I got merch, so check out the link in the description below. I got a few different designs. Get one of each, get one for your coworkers, have some fun with it, support the channel along the way. And finally, I now have paid courses. So if you're interested in learning from a Jira expert, check out the link in the description below. We have three different courses, one for just fundamentals of Jira, learn, become a Jira expert, know how to use Jira like a pro. I got a training for Jira administrators. If you're looking to increase your technical chops and become a Jira admin like me, then that's the course for you. And then finally, if for those that are wanting to put the master in Scrum Master, I have a Jira for Scrum Master training where I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to become the ultimate Scrum Master using Jira. All right, now let's jump into the video. Okay, so today's topic is a little interesting and it's a little difficult to describe. So I'm going to try to be as descriptive with my language here as possible. When we are talking about Jira projects, we're not talking about like funded projects. We're talking about literally the project in the navigation bar of Jira. And I'm trying to answer or help answer the question of how many projects does your company actually need? Because it's not that easy of an answer. I've seen the entire gamut here, the entire spectrum. I've seen teams that have just one for everybody because they're small, 10, 20, 30, 30 person startup. And I've seen companies with 200, 300 different Jira projects. So that begs the question of where do you fit in? How should you be even thinking about this? And so I'm going to try to give you some guides. I'm going to try to give you some of my logic that I go through when I'm working with teams to help them understand what's the right number of Jira projects. So let's take a look at some of this criteria. The first thing that you want to start off with is what kind of projects do you actually need? Is your company all agile? Because if they're all agile, then we probably just want to focus on the software type of project. Because that's the only type of project that is going to give us the, the agile templates that we need to succeed in agile. The next consideration is, are you going to be running a help desk out of this? Because if you're going to want to use Jira for a help desk like functionality, then the service management type of projects are going to be very crucial for this. So at this point, you at a minimum are going to have a software and a service management type of project. So you're already up to two. And then the final consideration that you want to make is, do you have teams that are just non agile and also non help desk? Because for those teams, we have a work management template that allows us to basically do a to do task tracker within Jira that can be collaborative so that folks aren't using sticky notes or just regular manual ways of doing this. Worst case scenario, using Excel. So if you're trying to basically figure out, okay, so how many of each do I need? You really do need to first understand within your company, which of these three buckets does your teams fall into? Because if you can eliminate one or two of those categories, then the conversation gets a little bit easier. But if you know for sure that you have one of each category, then we got to go to the next step, which is how do we then start decomposing or at least organizing the projects that we're going to need? Because at this point, there's so many just different ways to skin this cat, okay? There's just so many different variables for you to consider, but I want you to first start, what kind of category does your teams fall into? Are they software, agile? Are they just to-do list trackers, work management? Or are they doing some sort of an intake or help desk type of thing, service management? From there, we want to talk about, do we want to divide by team? Do we want to divide by projects? Or do we want to divide by department? So the team and the department's really easy to define. Because if you have a team, Maybe you have a team of developers A, team of developers B, and then you have a couple of other teams. Well, that then becomes super easy. For each team that you have in your company, you just need to understand, are they an agile team? Are they just a non-agile team? Or are they a running a help desk? Because then at that point, you just give them each a project based on that kind of project that we defined earlier. And that'll help you basically understand whether you need two teams, projects, or five, or 10, or 20, okay? The next easy one is to go by department. If your engineering team is all agile, then your department for engineering is going to be a, a software based agile project because that's going to fit their bill. 
Now, if you're also folding in your marketing, your legal, your accounting departments, and you're encouraging them to use Jira, are they agile as well? Because if they're not, then maybe a work management style project is gonna be more appropriate for them. But now you know that you have at least one Jira project per department. And so that number then becomes really easy to get to. Now the final one is this project one. And now this is kind of tricky because we're overloading the word projects. And so the project, as I'm defining it, you can define it as like a project or a product. So for example, maybe you got a team working on a mobile app. Do you, you can create a project, a Jira project, for the development and creation of that mobile app. And so it doesn't matter if you got engineers or QA or testers or legal or anybody else, everybody's gonna come and contribute into that mobile app project that is a long living, tracks multiple releases over the entire life cycle of that project. Because then that makes it easy because now you know that you have a Jira project for each either funded project or product that your company is making and that they sell and that maybe you advertise to your customers. So that conversation becomes a little e bit easier that way. And that's pretty much the basic conversations that I attempt to have with new teams because it makes it a little bit clearer because it's easy to visualize because you have financial sheets, you just have org charts, you have so many different other things that can now help influence you. Because the worst thing that you can do, the worst thing you can do is have just a bunch of Jira projects for no apparent reason. There should be some logic and I encourage you to think about this, right? Figure out, are we agile teams? If we are, then how do we want to divide like that? Are we agile and non-agile? Because then you got to fold in different types of projects. There's not just one version of Jira. There's multiple versions of Jira that are going to then influence the type of projects you're ultimately going to create. So hopefully this is beneficial to you. Hopefully this helps you at least think a little bit more clear, or at least with a little bit more direction as to how you should approach. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I would love to just engage with you and, and help you out and help you understand this. And then finally, if you haven't subscribed already and you made it this far into the video, make sure you subscribe. And if you got value out of the video, make sure you hit the like button. Check out the link in the description below for the fun t-shirts, help support the channel. Also check out my paid courses and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.